so it sounds like. And now when I push it on it, I'm lifting up on it. Okay, I think the motor just doesn't have okay, any Okay, so we have, this is a dental office, and we have an Ortho Ralix 9200 by Gendex. And we're having a problem, having a problem with the motor. Basically what happens is when we turn it on, See, it's, it's just stuck, it's making a noise. So there's a motor in the column up here. Uh, I'll turn it back off. That hopefully I'm gonna be able to take this whole thing apart and replace the motor and the associated belt up there. Uh, let's get this off here. All right, so basically there's a motor up on the right side in there and there's a belt attached to it. I'm hoping that's what's wrong. So here's the motor that I bought. Uh, I died directly from the company through Henry Shine Dental. And I figure as long as I'm changing out the motor, might as well change the belt also. It's silly to have the belt snap two weeks from now. This machine's about eight years old. And it's been actually fantastic, no complaints at all. all right. So step one is gonna be to turn the machine on. I'm gonna lower this as far down as it will go. I might have to push. Down is not so much of a problem. Up is more of a problem with a little help. All right, so this step one, I'm lowering this all the way down as far as it will go. All right, I'm gonna turn the machine off. I'm gonna unplug it. Step two. Step two is going to be to remove remove both sides by unscrewing this. So I'm going to take off this panel. I'll take off the panel on the other side. And I'm going to take off the lower panel also. Okay, so we took off both side panels. So here's what we got inside. We got the motor is right up there with the belt. Uh, there looks like the connector. On this other side are the weights. Uh, and that's it, I'm gonna go get a, uh, a ladder and put it on the other side and then hopefully take the weights out all right, so that's that. Right. The next step is going to be to take all these weights out of here. I would love to fix, it's a hole in here, but I, I don't have the right side screw to fixate it. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to take this long thing like this. And I'm going to put it in, lift it out, and get rid of them. So let's see, I wish I could put the tripod here, but I really can't. All right. Okay, so there are the weights right there on the floor. I took them out. Uh, this actually lifted up a little bit, exposing a couple of holes down here in there. I'm going to see if I have a couple of screws that will fit in there. Uh, that would probably do that be the best so the column doesn't move up or down. I found, I found a, uh, a bolt that will fit right in, this, right in one of these holes. So this is just going to keep it from, from moving down, like falling down. There we go. Sorry, I'm not the best videographer. All right, if I tighten that up, I'll just do it hand tight. Mm -hmm. That's not going anywhere. I wish I had a second one, but I'm gonna lift up on this whole column over here. And it sits on the left-hand side. Hmm. Let's see if the whole thing goes up. It looks like somewhere over here, between here and here, I'll put like some kind of block so I take the tension off of this belt up here, uh, off this metal thing. Right now this is still under tension. And the idea is I don't want this under tension at all so I can take these, those two. Okay, like everything else, 
with physical labor. This was way harder, way heavier than anticipated. All right, but I guess this whole column probably weighed a couple hundred pounds. So, so it was not easy by myself for me to lift it up and put this block of wood in here, but I managed to do that. So now that the block of wood is in here, now the cables are not under tension anymore. And now I can take this top off up there. Like, come on, focus, focus, whatever. Uh, this, S uh, screw, small, large. I'm just gonna put them on the floor here. Basically, the, the wire goes over the top of this, down. So it goes down here. It goes underneath the pulley there, okay? And on the pulley, it goes up, and then it attaches like, and then it attaches like that. So over the top one, under the second one. I'm just laying it, I'm just laying it down on the side for now. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna do the next step, which is to remove the top piece. It says to remove these first, those four, and take the top of this off. Then I think it said six, but I only see four. These two are holding the motor on, I believe. So we'll see. All right, so I'm just gonna take off the, uh, the connector. All right, let's see what I can do here. I don't know how good this is gonna be, but the belt's gotta come off before I can get to the, uh, to the motor. Let's see, I'm gonna be right in the way. Let's see, let's see if we can slide the belt off. Uh, unlock the lamp moving boats. Reduce the belt tension. Not to the belt. All right. Hi, Mabel. All right. All right, so now I'm going to give it a shot, putting it back up there. All right, so I got the new motor on there. So I guess the deal is going to be to put this back up. Just move this stupid. Put this back up here. First mount the, let's see. The metal part. These things first. I put these up in the middle. This is the Plug the motor back in, which is right over here. This one have to be unscrew it out. Oh, snapped right in. All right, this is right where the other one was. Now, make sure these are attached. I'll tighten these back in. 
Home stretch, baby. Home stretch. I hope this is recording. Yeah. Next time around, I gotta get a headlight, a head, a head camera. Bring your dog to work day. Every day is bring your dog to work day, right? Right, Mabel? It's every day bring your dog to work day? All right, so anyway. All right, so I put the new belt in there. I wish it was a way of tensioning it a little more. It's got rubber so it doesn't, if so it doesn't rub on the top and it's hard to push the belt back. Refasten this, refasten these. Now all I have to do is take the tension, put the tension back on Make sure these are over the pulley, they are. I would like to actually grease these things. I should spray a little silicone in here while it's while there's no tension on it. I think that's what I'm gonna do. That's how it's done. And that is how it's done. Until the whole thing falls off the wall. Like Alright, I'm just putting the side panels back on. Got this, uh, get this cranked way down. Torque light. Two. That's all she wrote. I think it's fixed. Let's give it one more try. Now that the side panels are back on. I just didn't clean everything up. That didn't take too long. All right, let's turn this on. Doesn't really go on unless you plug it in, actually. It's one of those things. All right, so that's, but it is important to unplug it when you work on it. The last thing I want to do is Short it out by touching one of those uh, electronic cards. Then you turn a, a few hundred dollar problem into a few thousand dollar problem. One of our cards went when we first got this and it was a few thousand dollars. Okay, all right, let's give it a try one more time. Perfect, no noise. No nothing. I just leave it up high. Done. And that's it. It is fixed. Ortho Railx 9200. Really thanks to the people at Gendex. Uh, I'll turn this around and see if I can do a quick selfie. Because I stink at this. But, uh,. Let's see. Th thanks very much to the people at Gendex. They were extremely helpful. A lot of companies, a lot of companies won't even talk to you unless you're a uh, unless you're a service person. They were great. They gave me information. They sent me uh, pamphlets on how to fix it. Uh, they they contacted me a few times, and they gave me the part numbers. Uh, and I just called Henry Schein. That's my go-to company. Uh, John over there, and he, he got me the part in just a couple of days. All right, thanks a lot. All set. Have a great day. Over and out. Until the next thing breaks.